So I'm filming this introduction on Alitalia flight AZ58. I happen to have the two seats next to me empty and I'm right in front of the exit row so hopefully I can do this without disrupting the other passengers too much. Apologies if there's a little bit of background noise. Um, I have actually just seen the Mediterranean Sea for the first time in my life. That was quite nice. But I'm going to talk now about my weekend in Buenos Aires, the Saturday and Sunday. So I left off on the Friday night. On Saturday we went on a bike tour of the city and the surrounding areas. We had Santiago and Kay as our two tour guides. There were three main areas that we went to on the bike tour amongst others. We started off in La Boca, which is the original port city of Buenos Aires, uh, still a very working class area and home to Boca Juniors, one of the two main uh, big football clubs. I was wearing my Western Sydney Wanderers jersey, which is red and that is River Plate colours, so uh, Boca Juniors wear blue. I was asked while in La Boca by one of the Argentinians there, uh, which jersey are you wearing? Which team is that? And I said, not River Plate, this is another team, I'm from Australia. We then went on to Puerto Madero, which is think of like a Barangaroo or a Docklands type area, uh, this old abandoned um, uh, port and also leftover spoil from when the uh, Avenida Nueve de Julio um, road was built because what they did was they demolished an entire block all the way along the center of the city to create a widened um, road 18 lanes wide and then expanded to 22 lanes wide and all of the spoil from the buildings they demolished was put out in at sea to create this artificial island back in the 1930s so in the 90s all of these trees and uh, plants had grown there and they reclaimed it and turned it into this new um, sort of Dubai on, on Buenos Aires as I was, uh, was described to me. Again very much like a Barangaroo or Docklands reclaimed um, urban renewal area. Very expensive, I'm told it's 16 and a half thousand US dollars per square metre um, and you know, big international companies are based there. And then we also went to Recoleta which is where the cemetery of all the elites and the rich and the powerful in, in Buenos Aires are. Um, and also Ava Peron's um, burial site is. We also got given a lot of background on the history and culture and politics of Argentina. I'm starting to feel I understand a little bit more about uh, Peronism and the dictatorship that followed in the 70s and 80s, but it is still very complicated. I'm, I'm quite intrigued and I'd like to know a little bit more. I went in looking for Ava Peron's burial site here at the cemetery and I read the map wrong so I'm off to find her now and I only found it because I saw a large tour group looking at it and upon closer inspection it actually wasn't even Ava Peron's burial site hers was around the corner so then I found Ava Peron's actual burial site and then uh, left and continued on the tour on the Saturday night we went out to La Catedral which is a club where we took a tango lesson and then watched a milonga basically open floor where some of the, the regulars would go out and dance and I really enjoyed that. It wasn't as professional or shiny as the show we saw the next night on the Sunday but it felt real and authentic and uh, we got to practice and, and try out some, some tango. Denise was very good. I struggled. I'm really not very good at, at one partner dances and two dances where you've got to set your own rhythm because you don't follow the rhythm of the music so both those things were new to me it was very difficult I was wearing new shoes that uh, were quite uncomfortable dancing so I, I struggled quite a bit but it was a, a good experience and even though I didn't have a fun time on the Sunday we went out to uh, Florida Street where they sell a lot of leather products so I got myself a new belt and a new wallet we went on a tour of the Pink House, which is the Presidential Palace. Um, there was a lot more architecture than I expected, but Denise is an architect, so she quite enjoyed that. I tried to get her to do the famous Ava Peron uh, speech from the balcony. It's not actually technically a balcony, but from the balcony of the Presidential Palace, and she didn't really want to do that. So that's the actual place where she gave her um, she presented herself to the Argentinian people and where Madonna filmed the famous scene from the film Avita where she sang Don't, uh, Don't Cry For Me, Argentina. We headed back to the hotel to get changed and head out to see, again, that professional tango show. 
part of me still preferred the, the tango that they danced the previous night at La Catedral. It did seem uh, a lot more authentic. La Catedral cost us about 40 Australian dollars all up. Piazzolla cost 100 Australian dollars all up and didn't come with any dinner. Whereas we did manage to get a pizza and some empanadas in La Catedral. So overall, uh, if you are going to Buenos Aires and you do want to see some tango, check out La Catedral. Really, really recommend it. We were headed out to the airport. Denise went back to Santiago. Um, I headed out to Madrid. I do have all three seats to myself and I'm planning to now take a good solid nap because I did not get much sleep on that last flight. But I am very tired. I will see you all next time from Madrid in Spain. I have not been there since I was there as a 17 year old. So it's my first time in Europe as an adult and I'm very excited. Until then, I'll see you all.